Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Sunday and a great weekend. Well today as you can see we have another unbagging. That means we have another review. So let's find out what is in this bag. It's kind of thick. So we'll see. Ooh, we have cross stitch joy Sunday. Is it everything? Stuck it in a little bit. All right. So we have three stamped cross stitches, and these come from the FG Normal place or store. And if they have any discounts or any specials, or if I have any discount codes, it'll be right in here and also in the description box below. So let's just start with the one that looks the most complicated. How's that? All right, let me get everything situated here. Get us some room. I'll be right back. All right, I will put a picture of this right in here. This is a 14 count. Oh, it does have a picture. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. The whole thing is just minute. You would have to blow this up. So this is called uh, Seaside, I believe. And it is a 40 by 50. But it has some beautiful blues and pinks and tans and maybe a little bit of oranges in it. I'm not sure how dark those flowers will show up like orange. But we will look. I have never seen, well, if I have, it's been a hot moment. A 14 count. And this looks, I'm not sure what company this is. So, yeah. But... I don't know. It was just quite odd. Usually I get 14 count in the Spring Company Kids and Joy Sunday. So this was just kind of off the wall, but I thought it was beautiful. It has 35 colors. It has instructions here. It's the same picture that's on the back of Joy Sundays. Let's take a look at what colors we have. We have 310 black. 498, which is a brick red. We have 550 purple. Oh, yeah. We have 823 and no 939. We do have 996, which is that gorgeous turquoise. And no, I don't know what they're using for white, but we'll find out. But it doesn't, it looks a little confettied over here. But that's where the trees and the flowers and the blooms are at. Maybe a tad bit over here. But the rest of it is pretty cut and dry and easy. There's no back stitching, and the paper pattern will match the canvas. So I'm pretty pleased with this, except for the size of this. I mean, it's pretty, pretty minute. Yeah, it looks like a pencil point size. So they could have made this a little bit bigger. So... We'll get on with it. It does come with a toolkit. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Because I guess I've just been getting Joy Sundays for some reason. And we have five needles, poof ball, thimble, and needle threader. And we have La Tigra. So, yeah. Now, the threads do come in their own plastic bag. So, we are going to match the, the numbers. So the product number here is 1024. I gotta get it down, I'm sorry. 1024 here and 1024 here. So those all match. We're just gonna set the canvas aside for a second. And I'm gonna get these threads out of here. All right, I am back, but look at that gorgeous array of blues. I believe this color right. Right here is 996. That's a beautiful, gorgeous turquoise. Just beautiful. I love that. That blue. Oh my goodness. It's one of my favorite blues. I'm trying to get everybody together so the rubber band doesn't come off while I'm sorting through. But we have oranges. We have purples. That's 550 purple. Look at that beautiful burnt orange. Oh, we have several shades of blue. You have pale, medium, and kind of a gray blue. Then you have a dark blue, 
dark turquoise beautiful red it might even be 498 but just gorgeous scrumptious colors oh yeah and I hate to say it but I can hardly wait to start this it's just just gorgeous so I was looking to see what colors in light we had so those are it's like a light pale pale gray and then there's a pale purple so I guess there's no vivid white in this or 3865 which is the next choice usually for whites but just gorgeous scrumptious colors I'm going to be crinkling a moment get everybody together let's take a look at the canvas and as I said paper pattern will match the canvas this is surged all the way around and it's nice and lightweight and easy to move now we can really see where the confetti lies sometimes I can't tell on on patterns but yeah like I said up here in these trees but you do have like a domineering color running throughout it and maybe some orange running throughout it but it's going to be just lovely oh very nicely printed very easy to see now this on the surface it's smooth but yet this is some of that rougher it's not like joy sunday smooth but um i i like this because it's easy to crinkle and get it you know in your hands and it's really lightweight. I can't get over how lightweight it is. Maybe because it's 14 count. And the weave, you know, is not as thick. But very nice. Let's measure this. It is mm, almost 50 centimeters by almost 19 and 3 quarter inches. So it's not too big. And this way is 39 centimeters or almost 15 and a half inches. The actual picture size is 13 inches or 33 centimeters by 43 and a half centimeters or almost 17 and a quarter inches. So yeah, it's not too terribly big and I think it'll stitch up just fine. Now you can add as much back stitching to this as you would like. I just love the colors. The colors in this are just awesome. I love all those blues, and hopefully there'll be some oranges. And looking at the threads, I think we're going to be just fine. Just beautiful. And nicely printed key over here. The thread just barely grazes into the numbers, but everything matches, so you shouldn't have a problem looking for the numbers, you know, that you need on your thread tabs or the drops or whatever they call them very nice now that one was twelve dollars and seventy four cents let's look at the next one and it's kind of a smaller one joy sunday bag let's get it out of here beautiful joy sunday bag they're very nice and sturdy and strong I do like that. Let me flip it over, make sure it was right side up. Now, I saw this on the random stitcher uh, here on YouTube. That is Luna. I think that's her name, Luna. And I believe she's in Denmark, I, I believe. Very nice. It's called Chocolate Cat and Flower. I like how the cat is like variegated, or is it ombre? From like a light red to a purple to a darker color and then blue and black in there. And the flowers are just gorgeous. This is a 21 by 27. And it was $3. $3.81. It is a partial. And let's take a look at the thing over here. So we have two sets of numbers. Top numbers go with the paper pattern, and the bottom set goes to the canvas. So these symbols will not be on your canvas. These will. So it has full stitch, French knot, and back stitch. 
We have a total of 43 colors. So let's see what we have. We have 154, which is the mulberry, 310 black, 550 purple, 823, which is a dark navy. We have those lovely greens in 904, 906, and 907. They're kind of a, a brighter green, if you will, but they are so pretty. I've had those three in diamond paintings, and they just make them totally stand out. So that's going to be like down here in the, the leaves and kind of highlight colors. Let's see. Carrying on. We have 939. We have no 3376. We do have 3865 on this one and B5200. So you've got four colors in backstitch and one in French knot, and it's that 996, which is that beautiful turquoise color. So I'm not sure where that's all going to come into play. It is 91 by 111 inch, or stitch inches. Stitch is high. Holy cow, some days I just can't talk. And the pattern, so you don't have much back stitching. It's mostly straight line stitching, kind of to highlight the flowers and the cat's whiskers, the cat's ears, the whiskers on top of their, like, eyes, and it's around the plants. So very nice, very easy to do. I can't see how, how the, what do you call it, confetti is going to be. You have two thread cards. Let me get it all undone here. And it comes with a product number on it. So if it gets separated, you will know that number because it's on the front right there, 976. And it does tell you that this is two of two. So there are two cards and two needles. Let me take it apart. And we'll just look at this one first. Maybe. Everybody's just whoosh together today. Let me start with number one. All right. So you have your mulberry on the end. 310 black. So there's not too much of that. 336, 550, and 552, you know, a very slight change in color there. Look at that raspberry color. Oh, it's so pretty. And the blues, mm. here's your 823. Here is your, this is 996. So it's a lighter shade. There's 996, 995, but just 996 in this one. So it's a beautiful turquoise, more raspberry or rose color, kind of a medium rose color, beautiful greens, just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And it just doesn't look like it would be that much. And this is the card that it tells you how many strands you have, DMC number, and then the number that you're looking for. Isn't that a pretty purple? It's kind of a red violet. It's got a bit of red in it. 3865, can't tell the difference. Basically, it's kind of a gray. It's kind of weird. And your five, uh, B5200. So beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So it'll be very well shaded. Got all those lovely flowers and that cat. Mm. Yeah, I had to have this one. Just, just had to have. Let's take a look at the canvas. Canvas is surged all the way around. And it does, it goes this way. Sorry, my bad. It has the two product numbers that were on the front page. And the name of the, the product. We also have how wide, uh, how stitches. So it's 91 stitches across and 111 up and down, and it is a partial. So this should be fairly easy to stitch. A little bit of confetti just right here where the leaves are, where everything gets together. But, ah, oh, this would be so easy to stitch. Let's measure this one, and then I'll show you the, 
the key, if I could just talk, let's see, 11, almost 11 inches or 20 centimeters by 21, doesn't make sense, I'm going to look at that again, it is 8 and a quarter inches or 21 centimeters, this one is 28, almost 28 centimeters, or 11 inches. Sorry, I got the numbers wrong. And actual size is a little over 8 inches or a little over 20 centimeters by mm, almost 6 and a half inches by or a little over 16 centimeters. And you're going to have plenty of margin all the way around. So if you want to make it Let's see. I'm trying to see. There's 10. So it would make it 8 by 10 frame, you know, if you wanted to. Now let me rolling, rolling. So look how tiny. I'm trying tiny that little key is. You cannot, you can barely read the top numbers. You can see the symbols just fine, and then the numbers are in eligible or in readable, unreadable. Whew. Words evidently are hard. This is your one French knot. I can't tell what color it is, and your four back stitches. But yeah, it's it's just going to be beautiful. But it's nice and clear. Easy to see symbols, so just look it up on your paper pattern, and you'll be fine, and just kind of go from there. There's no half half cross stitches. Sometimes when it gets to be such a small thing, it is so hard to see the, uh, the half cross stitch. I have more trouble with them than I do the regular symbols. So, yeah. So, we have one more. It is a Joy Sunday. And it was, or it was, it is 25 by 33, $5.08. Pull this out, put that over there. Comes in the lovely Joy Sunday bag. This is called Spring Flowers. How many kinds of sweet flowers grow in an English country garden? I don't know if I got this before or not. It just looks kind of familiar. I've had a couple of them. But we'll look at it anyway. 29 by 40 is what it says on the bottom here. And it is 14 count. And let's take a look at the... I'm looking to see if there... Yeah, there is. The paper pattern. It has a single page here. Called Spring Flowers with both of the... The numbers that were on the front page, it is 122 by 178. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty with all those red flowers. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's turn that over. So we have two copies, or not two copies, two sets of the numbers. Top numbers go to the paper pattern. Bottom ones go to the canvas. We have a total of 26 colors. We have full stitch, quarter stitch, French knot, and back stitch. Whoops, and three quarter stitch. Okie dokie. Yeah. Haven't done too much of those, but hopefully there won't be a whole bunch. And there's only three colors in back stitch on this. So that's a good thing. We have 310 black. Uh, we have no 939 or A23. We have B5200 and nothing else that I know. So I guess they're using 310 black for like the little bumblebees or butterflies have little dots on them. Are those going to be? No. Hmm. 
I guess maybe the bee bodies. So there's not much of that. So we'll just have to play it by ear. Let's take a look. Whoops. At the paper pattern. It's all on one page. So we have this lovely lattice going on. It is not back stitched. As you can see, it is all cross stitch. So that's a good thing. Oh, I had, what was that? The blue pavilion? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was like, ah, uh, no. Jill Green, she finished that one. Me? No, not so much. I got lost in the back stitching because everything needed to be back stitched. I was done. And the lattice work on the side was all back stitch. Yeah. Mm. So you can see where the back stitching is here. There's just kind of going around things. It, it's not too complicated or hard or have to be precise to make it look like something. These roses might get to be a little hairy. Maybe that one, but rest of it's just like go around this, go around that, and then you got all this back. I don't know. We're going to look here in a minute. All this wording is backstitched. How many kinds of sweet flowers grow in a in an English country garden? Gosh, if I could say that. So that's all backstitched. Now, sometimes they do print that back stitching, so we'll see what they've done. But very nice, very easy to see symbols. So, yep, we'll, we'll go find out here in a minute. Oh, goodness. Let's look at these beautiful colors. Let me get them all separated out. does have another one, same card as was on the other one. Red numbers is how many you have then the DMC, and then the thread card number. Comes with two needles and the product number on the card. And does it say, it says one of one, so everything's all on one. But look at those blues and purples and pinks. Look at that bright orange, bright yellows, beautiful greens, lots of purple and pink. Maybe on a little dash of blue, but the pinks and the purples kind of take over. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors. Whoop. Let me wrap that all up so I know. Let's take a look at this canvas now. And the winner is, oh, hell no. Yeah, none of that is printed on there. None of it. So you're going to have to free base from, or free hand from the pattern for all your wording. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so down here at the bottom, you have a beautiful key, and it's a pretty good size. Some of the numbers are a little blurry on the bottom, but the top ones are just fine. Easy to see symbols, though. These are your three-quarter stitches. This is your quarter stitch. You have three in French knots. And three in back stitch tells you how big it is so very nice and the two product numbers and the name is at the top let's take a look see how big this is I mean there's not a lot of of actual full cross stitch in this it's just kind of helter skelter but all that back stitching is gonna make this come alive you know with all that lovely wording so, oops, get those scissors out of my way. The big canvas size is 40 and a half or 16 inches by mm, a little over 11 and a quarter inches or 29 centimeters. The actual size is, oh, um, it's like, I don't know how to say that. It's a little over eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters by 32 and a half centimeters or 12 and three quarter inches. So, yeah, it's got, yeah, you'll spend more time doing back stitching than you will actual stitching because you could do all that stitching right here in a week. Just pick a color, do all that color, you know, because it's very simplistic. 
and then the back stitching is just gonna hold you up so yeah I, I don't know how I feel about that that's it's deceiving <laughs> yeah there's not much to it yeah mm, no mm, yeah all of the fun lies in the the back stitching so if back stitching is your game this is your 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 project so that is all that I got from FG normal now like I said if they have any specials if I have a discount code they have a discount code be at the beginning of the video and in the description box below they do have free shipping on orders over 40 pounds they have diamond painting, cross stitch, paint by number, and tools and crafts for all of that. They also have scrapbooking, wool felt, paper quilling, wax sealing, and silk screen stencils. Say that three times. Yeah. And they do custom in diamond painting and paint by number only. So do check them out. They always have a great selection and great prices. Thank you, FG Normal, for these beautiful, beautiful kits. I don't know which one we're going to start today. It, we're going to, we'll find out. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.